Jetzt geht es weiter, es wird auch wunderbar. Wir haben nämlich Besuch aus Amsterdam. Haas Cornelissen. Ich hoffe, dass ich das jetzt richtig gesagt habe. Er steht für die ehemalige Organisation des Legalize Street Rave in Amsterdam für Encod und äh, ich hoffe, er kriegt das jetzt mit seinem neumodischen Re Lesegerät hin gegen diese Sonne. Aber ich glaube, er war ganz zuversichtlich, er hat es ohnehin im Kopf. Haas Cornelissen aus Amsterdam. Guten Tag, liebe Freundin, herzlich willkommen. Ähm, du sollst alle kriminell sein, mit einer Führer schreien. It makes no sense. Thursday, last Thursday, the Washington Post posted an investigation on cannabis and driving in Colorado, where cannabis is now half a year fully legal. Figures came out. Police arrests tripled on stoned drivers. All kinds of people got fined. Klempner, cleaners, social workers, churchgoers or gospel singers. There were more people checked, so more people got the tickets. The figures of total fatal accidents when people driving high should go up as well, one might say, as happened with some other drugs like alcohol or untraceable LSD. Figures, though, showed the opposite. 470 people got killed in a car accident each month in 2002. In 2014, only 225 people a month had a fatal car accident. Less than half fatal accidents. Auch in mein country, they are trying to use the piss tests on THC. Many of my Dutch friends got fined in Deutschland, though they must pay immediately 500 euro or more by Polizei and lose their driving license in Germany when driving away from one of the great German festivals and get caught with stupid piss and blood tests. THC is still traceable in your blood one month after you smoke the joint, although the effects wear off after a few hours. It is stupid to find, to find someone who smoked the joint the day before. It's stupid. <laughs> the effect of cannabis, that is what we call inebriation. This is not measurable, but it is there. Stone drivers are more careful than sober drivers. A stone driver will drive 40 miles an hour instead of 50. When a driver is a medium stoned or inebriated, he's even more focused, according to a Dutch university study in the year 2000. Some hours later, there is no effect measurable in the car simulation program. Besides the inebriation effect, works totally different than for alcohol. One will not be bluffing he can drive, if you feel like you can't drive because you are too stoned, you just won't ride. Conclusion, it makes no sense to find stone drivers. Like it makes no sense to find sugar users, or pharmaceutical pill users, or people with a lot of stress. Kiefer soll legal sein mit einer Führerschrein. Obama is right when he says the war on drugs is an utter failure. Drug peace now. Please put your money where your heart is and make donations on all places where you can see them. It's really, really necessary. I would like, before I'm ending this, to thank some peoples. The Dutch Legalized Foundation is over there with the peace flag. Together with the European ENCOD movement, is a network of legalization movements throughout Europe, with a great truck as a land of Zion over there, thanks to the crew of some reggae systems, Shambhalayan aus Holland, and the fantastic Berliner sound system Freedom Fighters. 
this whole cooperation, no such a wonderful day would have been possible without the great help of Tribble and my colleague Fatih Steffen and the rest of the Hanf Parade crew. Give them a massive applause. Thank you. Vielen, vielen Dank, Herr Sos Amsterdam.